So how about you pet? Alright, this is a this is a Roomba iRobot Create and I'm gonna show you guys how you can control it over the Wi-Fi. So this is the Roomba. A uh, quick overview about what we're going to be doing. It has a crap ton of sensors in it. So on the front here, uh, we have three infrared uh, distance sensors. Aside from that, we have these four floor sensors-ish. Got some buttons up here. Oh, well, yeah, and it's got these two wheels to make it move around. Okay, this thing, uh, this is the Arduino Uno. This is big and chunky, and it offers no real connection other than the wired port. This is a particle photon. It's tiny as hell. It does pretty much everything the Arduino does. And then on top of that, it has Wi-Fi. We can hook this straight up to the, to the, to the Roomba, have it use the power from the Roomba, and we can write code directly to it wirelessly. But what if, so based off of um, the documentation for the Roomba, serial line here gives off about 14 volts. This little guy t takes in about five. That's what this is for. Uh, this is a linear voltage regulator. It takes high voltage or voltages and outputs them into easier pieces for things like this photon to handle. Let's get the circuit up and running. Breadboard. We need four. Four jumper cables. Some straight up wire. So ground, uh, serial out, in, and serial, another serial here. And then we have this one, uh, the weird DD pin that makes the Roomba wake up. Linear voltage regulator. All right. And so the right one is for output, the rightmost pin. And I have this little wire here that goes from the middle pin into the negative vertical strip of the breadboard and so that makes some stuff easier so I just gotta remember that this has to go to the photon right here Be using this jumper cable to plug directly into the Roomba for the power just gotta align the pins to how I set them up that ground pin is the second top leftmost and that's where I have this black wire connected in so I just have to make sure that's where that one goes we can put this through so this has to go to the bottom rightmost. All right, let's do, let's do it. All right, the way this works is we have one set of code running uh, on the particle photon, and that's what's receiving all the um, web, web commands. But then the remote, per se, is, has to be is run through a bash script and a bash script dot sh file is well, typically meant for a Linux machine and so for right now I'll be using this MacBook Pro to run the remote <laughs> what I realized was that the create automatically starts communicating at 115,200 bond. So, for those of you who thought I was speaking Chinese for a second, serial communication between microcontrollers and computers, um, it's are is much like communication through radio waves. There are different frequency channels that you can communicate through and send your values through. Here in serial communication, you choose a baud rate, and the receiver, and the receiver and the sender, like the two party computers that are involved must be on the same baud rate to be able to exchange information. 
Now what I realized was that the Roomba starts off at 115,200 baht. The particle photon, its max is some number, but a common baud rate between the two is 19,200. So first we manually set the Roomba to 19,200, and we set the particle photon's baud rate to 19,200. I've set it, I don't know how things are gonna go. Let's do it up. Stop! Stop!